What is up, folks? My name is Shantastic, and we are bringing you back to the 70 Star League. It is Division One once again. Another exciting week of matches planned this week. This time, this uh, particular moment in time, this hour is Ouija versus Proto Man. I'm joined in the commentary booth by D. Whatever. D. Uh, speak English a little more clearly than I am. Uh, maybe a little bit. I'm not too sure about that though, but right now, the standings, of course. Uh, BG? Am I blind? He's in 7th place? That's- I didn't expect that at all. But yeah, still doing better than Proto, but who's right below him with only 2 points of a difference. So super super close. This match is gonna be deciding who's gonna take the lead here. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Ouija, of course, um, has had very good races, but unfortunately has been plagued by uh, a few scheduling issues and unfortunately was awarded a couple of no-shows. And of course, when you get those no-shows, you don't just lose the match, you also lose all of the bonus points and you get a, a, a point penalty. And so that's really hurt his standings uh, so far. But here we are with an absolutely live run. These two players are playing right now. And if you don't believe us, well, there's nothing we can do about that. But we're going to be getting into the action real soon. Um, I mean, you could just go to the Mario direction hey, and Mario. see that channel's live. So, but either way, we're oh, going. And honestly, um, it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out. I think Proto Man is the sort of definitely more on the consistent side of things and doesn't do that many fast strats. Ouija on the other hand, complete opposite, does insanely fast strats. Isn't that consistent, but I'm definitely thinking that his insane speed is kind of carrying him. Indeed. It will be interesting to see. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this matchup. And it's been a couple weeks since I saw Ouija play, so... Um, very psyched to see what's in store for us. Um, I'm not sure how much practice he's been doing in Sandy Star. Uh, I think Protoman's been playing pretty consistently, right? I think so as well. I know that Ouija is back on the Sunshine Grant because JJ took his world record and now he's kind of getting back into Sunshine grabbing ILs and all that. So might have not played too much. SM64 and already a small mistake on the Lakita skip lineup, but still makes it no problem. Imagine reaching such a level in uh, Mario Sunshine that like competing for world record isn't enough. Now the competition is like, I have to beat you in world record and perform better than you in the GSA Mario 64 standings. Exactly. And luckily JJ is in Division 2, so Luigi is still up there. One division higher. We'll see that bomb club. Looking good. Nice. Really, really good start for both. Taking the lead, I think, with big bomb that was over the medium bomb that Proto had. Indeed, so we're just gonna take a tiny bit of an edge and a slightly more optimized uh, movement toward the Peach's secret side, moving a little diagonally there. It is harder movement to do. I find myself hitting the wall when I go for it. Yeah, I can see that, but um. I know, the uh, one that Proto-Vet is definitely more, I don't know, beginner-friendly, I guess. Uh, yeah, I would agree. Uh, 12.6 from Luigi, 12.6 from Proto-Man. I'll just go with that as well. Oh. I mean, you had one right, so we good. That's good enough. Here we go. And looks now, like we are underway. Into the Worms Fortress. Scatter stage, reset heavy, too optimized, there's just so much going on. Canless Owl is almost 100, all quite punishing stars if you do make a small mistake. Indeed, I call this place Time Loss Central. That's a good, that's a good uh, second name for it. Yeah, it's, it's basically one of the levels where, uh, along with, I'd say, TikTok Clock, probably, it's one of the few levels where you don't really need a big death in order to lose a huge ton of time. Oh! Yeah, Proto trying to get that texture set up and already missing it and also not grabbing. The wall kick, that's not the correct angle. Can't get up to the wall I know that kill as well. 
Either way, uh, Luigi is having an extremely good 100. Also grabbed the 5 coins in the beginning. Got the pro cycle. So he's moving fast. Just one coin short, actually. Well, almost moving fast. Gonna have to grab the backup box. Not too bad. Uh -oh. But yeah, uh, Proton on the other hand, not asking for Camelos anymore. Wants to go all this first. Alright, and gets it too, nice. Okay, I have never seen that box movement before, um, where you dive into the box and walk into the wall, that's really cool. Yeah, you can just grab with a really fast dive and don't have to slow down at all. Pretty nice. So it's sort of on the way. Doesn't take much time to break it as well. And now, uh, up and for to set up again, this is actually scary. If he fails us, he has to go back up, oh, and he no. does have to go back up. Massive time loss. Now, Luigi probably gonna go for a full setup. There we go. A lot more consistent than Tisha setup. And Proto still opting for it, even without the coins. See now where's the last grab. And gets a third try, alright. But that's already. Already such a big time loss. Uh, this. I might be going like a little big brain here, but I feel like if you miss Can uh, Candleless a second time and you haven't done 100 coin, since you've already got those 5 coins, it might be just faster to go for 100 coin. And just do the half cycle if you have to. Ooh, that's true. I, I never really thought about that. I mean, usually you would reset immediately if you failed the second time, so... Yeah, it, it takes the kind of enlightened mind that doesn't actually reset after missing Candleless three De times. <laughs> Definitely. And then you don't really think about that kind of back and now Proto also missing that cycle because not able to get up where the blood, what blue star was. Yeah, Luigi nothing definitely, mm -hmm. definitely accelerating. Yeah, Luigi I was gonna man. say, nothing quite opens you up to like innovative uh, strategizing and optimizations like having seven and a half minutes of time saving. <laughs> Pretty much. Right, it's unfortunately gonna be ready for you gotta be ready to hit back up strats in races, otherwise you're sorta of doomed because stuff is about to go down whenever you race. Yeah, for sure. I guess it's sort of like you learn as you race more, I would say. Ooh, that was an interesting ground from Ouija. Not getting the actual ground on the bomb, but these are super early. What is going on? Ouija. Oh again! Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, the first one was a little bit too early, but those, like, the last two ones? Crazy stuff. Indeed. Uh, something about those hitboxes expands uh, when you're playing at this level. <laughs> and now Proto is gonna do his Warm King as Wiki already finishes. Was that the Rage Pass, or did I... Alright. Proto is the weirdest, the weirdest rage pauses. <laughs> Ooh, Ouija not able to cycle it, but still gonna grab a pretty, pretty good warm time. 6.45. Oh my gosh. That is indeed an oh my gosh. That is four race, again, like, super good. Usually, uh, I mean, if you were to do Womps 9 in the run, then someone like Ouija would get like a... 6.35 maybe, or 6.36, so only 9 seconds behind that. And now another point six, I would say, from Luigi. And, and there we go. Like you are. Let's go. That might be the first time I was right in a GSI race. Let's just say it again. <laughs> And yeah, Proto is cool. around, it looks like 30 seconds behind already. Definitely lost a lot of time due to those um, canonless mistakes. For sure. Um, very just... hard to miss two, miss two canonless. I'm gonna predict a 12 8 here. I'll go with a 12 9. Might be a little bit of a 3. But... Ooh, Ooh 13 out again. I, so I got my first 12 inside this week, and I got three of them all this week. And so now anytime someone gets a 13, I'm like, <laughs> amateur. <laughs> Commentator getting a little bit ahead of himself after getting his first 12 in the slide. <laughs> Pretty good to be headed here into the wing cap. It's like Ouija cleaned up nice and well. Yeah, no issues there at all. That was a clean wing cap. 
not too easy. And Proto also grabbing the first two races up mostly like every time the ones to miss the easiest. But yeah, Dark World and Richie already with a really big really start goes for the box rod. All right, with an interesting camera setup. So we'll definitely see. I think it's Shia Cycle, right? It should be Shia Cycle, so. Just super, super early Shia Cycle. Which is uh, basically yeah, Shigeru like Cycle, but you just grab that one. Oh, wow, that was so I early. He might have been. Yeah, he might have even gotten the so called Tsukishima Cycle, which is even like one whole cycle faster than uh, Shigeru Cycle. It's insane. That wasn't really nice, except for no double firsties, but still a really nice Dark World. Okay, so she has just a really early shake. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, okay. I guess it's just easier to say uh, she has cycle. Yeah. You sort of use that jump dive to already get on the platform before it's where you usually grab it. Grab it. Like, we're gonna okay. see. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was a really early shake or a really late uh, super. Oh, no! Oh, just like... oh, my... Okay. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just l almost falling off. Luckily, got caught himself and knew what to do, but that was sketchy. And Proto picks up the star. Manages not to enter the pipe without getting the star. I would say that's a winning move. <laughs> that's a big win. So, not gonna fall too far behind, luckily. That was already bad, like almost a minute lost. So, that was, if you did that mistake. And now, Luigi on that sky jump, looking good. I trust that he's got this in the bag. Beautiful. Honestly, I think, well, it definitely loses like 40, 40 to 50 seconds, 50 seconds at worst. Um, Cause I'd, I'd say that Bowser Reds obviously loses about 25 seconds ish. And then you have to spend probably 25 seconds getting, um, doing, presuming in D1, you're probably going for CCM 17. You probably just have to get the big penguin race. And then after that, you're probably okay. Oh, true. All right. Uh, into CCM. The touch stage. <laughs> I, I keep saying that, like every time someone enters CCM, that's uh, the word to go. And but Luigi taking a little bonk. Could have been a lot worse. Could have bonked earlier and fallen down. That was not the case though. Commentators are pretending that Proto Man has a chance when he already got two 13s in Secret Slide. That's pretty much going to settle it, honestly. So we're just kind of false hyping at this point. Yeah, there's not, not much we can do anymore for that beginning. It's pretty much over for Proto after those slides. After all, this is the Super Mario 64 Slide Percent League brought to you by the Global Speedrun Association. And nothing else. Oh, an 18 from, uh, from Luigi. I oh, yeah, actually kind of surprised. I definitely thought he was gonna be the sort of okay, overshooting a little bit, but he was fine, not falling off. Definitely thought he was the kind of guy to go for double flawless. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, I, I guess it's possible. You know, pillowless is one of those tricks where there there might be a day where you're just like, you know what? I don't have it today, and then you just change your entire uh, kind of change your routing a little bit. Oh, for sure. And maybe it's also because, like, he's probably thinking, oh, he hasn't played this game much, and Perlis is one of the big ones. Doesn't Don't want to deal with that trick twice if I haven't played this game too much lately. Since I definitely think he's been on the sunshine grind. But he's holding up really well, if I'm honest. I agree. And Perlis as well, that CCM18. Actually, I'm trying to think if I've seen any, like, real mistakes from... I think just the... having to back up the box on Bob's Hunt. Okay, that was... <laughs> Luigi almost walked off because of the camera. Alright. Yeah, there wasn't really too many mistakes on Luigi's end. Just the other but slapped doing once 100. But that's it. Luigi opting to be a 19-coin Andy. Um, 
very confident in his slide skills. Certainly don't blame him. To get this jump, but now Ooh. do not lose any more coins, otherwise he has to leave the slide. So it can be a little bit scary. We're seeing people miss coins here because of the penguin. But from this point out, it shouldn't be any problems anymore. Yeah, the main problems are the last coin of that little line and the first coin of that little jump, right? So as long as you get one of those, you should be okay and don't make any like weird mistakes. Definitely. Just sometimes the penguin can push you where Proto is heading to right now. The penguin just pushes you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it can be a little Ooh, sketchy, but it's just... there. yeah, it seems like Proto's gonna be fine as well. He's, got, he's actually got so many coins, spare coins. Perfect, misses the one coin. That's gonna make his uh, star jump a little easier and a little faster. Of course, you want to head into that final stretch with either 85 or 86 coins. 85 is better because 86, your long jump is a little more precise, but also not a huge deal. So definitely. And while Perlman actually interesting, did he not do walk to work yet? I think he did the penguin star. Either way though, with you already into BBH, just gonna grab two quick stars here. I think uh too much going on. Two quickies. And yeah, Proto does, sure. didn't go for walk to work yet. Interesting, delaying that until the very end. Uh oh. Proto Man pulling a Luigi there. But nice long jump into almost <laughs> clean wall kicks, but that was a pretty good backup. Here we go. And looks like Luigi is uh, going to be headed back into BBH. Uh, did, did you say if he did a uh, punch strat or long jump? I would imagine well, long jump. Yeah, I was actually focused on Proto's backup, but I'm sure he was. He went for the long jump strat. Yeah, long jump seems like something that doesn't really subject to rust. It's more just whichever strat you're more comfortable with, you will always go for. Pretty much. I, I agree on that as well. That was a clean uh, bouquet start. He like, sort of clipped through the fence after entering the mansion. That's not too easy to do. Sometimes you ledge grab the fence. That can happen quite easily. Ooh, a bomb from Proto coming out once again. Yeah. Anytime I see someone bonk in a D1 race in like a weird place, I always pretend it's RNG manipulation. So I think we're going to see a very interesting wet dry world. That is uh, a very positive way to look at it. Definitely, <laughs> definitely RNG manipulation whenever someone bonks. Nice punch from Luigi. Yeah, you see like mid positioning so far behind, like not even <laughs> behind the wall, so that you can get can't get a good turn because the US maps is so slow. So, interesting fact, maybe I don't know. Ooh, the first pillar is not treating Luigi nice. Can't even turn around and throw the bomb directly. <laughs> a little bit of rage Mario cam coming out. But uh, definitely vindicating uh, Luigi's decision to go for CCM18. Yeah, if he didn't, he would need to do this two more times, like try to grab the big bomb. I don't think he would take medium bomb necessarily. And there we go, big bomb. Makes this trick a lot easier and nice slope jump. No tower plus, but get stuck in the- what? Okay, the exit course? I- <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's better than die, but <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that. Wow. But now Proto, uh, quite some time he could make up here. Yeah, pretty sure he yeah. lost time as well. I think uh, dying wouldn't have been that bad, but uh, that seems like a rage yeah. exit course for sure. But there we go, second try, <laughs> gets it in. Proto, making up a decent amount of time. Oh, he gets to get it as grab. well. Nice. Still behind, but yeah, that was a good time save for Proto. Okay, so he so he went for a rage pause and accidentally muscle memory the exit course as well. I <laughs> think so. Maybe he was just holding down. I'm not too sure, but that was unfortunate. <laughs> Wait, if he was holding down and that's what that's what causes it, 
then that gives us a little expose into Luigi, which is that when he rage pauses, he exits the menu using A. I think you can also exit it with a start and still exit the course on pink. Oh, wait, right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I think he, maybe he would have tr wanted to try and save it by holding down, but yeah. I mean, that didn't happen. Use start to exit course, so I don't even know what I was going at there. Commentator getting a little big brain here. Um, probably just should uh, focus on calling out what's going on on screen. Oh yeah, uh, Luigi just confirmed. <laughs> Luigi just confirmed he didn't mean to e exit LMFAOO. I was holding down to move downwards. That's what he said. Yeah, <laughs> exactly what I just described. All right. <laughs> Unfortunate mistake, but good for Proto. So, uh, quite close now. It's kind of what he needs because, as, as I was saying earlier, Luigi's movement is superb. Like it's pretty clean. Yeah, Luigi's playing really I'm... well. Yeah, going for that as well. <laughs> and almost a good ending. Oh god. But yeah, the pro... Actually, the Akira boost, I believe. I can't believe I still... I'm still not sure which is which. But that should have been uh, Akira boost. Uh, yeah, no, I keep so I keep watching it through my peripherals while looking at the other person's cam because I'm like, okay, I can see what lava boost is going on uh, out of my peripherals, and I want to prove to myself what a what a pro observer I am. And then every time it happens, I completely like my eyes don't even register like what side he actually boosted from. So every time I say like, oh, he didn't care a boost, chat's like, no, he didn't. It was a long jump boost, you idiot. And I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm also not sure still, but we can just say he did a very fast lava boost. That's for sure. He that's not did and that's not lava boost, and it was a first try. <laughs> he did indeed do lava boost, and it was fast. That's not easy to pull off. True. So true. Uh, commentators with the real insights here. <laughs> side side bully, yeah, true. We just going crazy in the on with some threats. Luigi taking some time out of uh, his intense competition with Proto to help us out a little bit. He also thinks that was a pro boost because a curve boost apparently is the one where you go in the middle. Yeah. Here we go. Looking like a decent leaf island for both though. I mean, for decent, I mean Luigi is actually playing well. Very well. I agree. Names don't matter. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna describe everything by specifically what's going on on screen. He does the uh, he does the um, middle side boost, but bouncing to the right. I'm, I'm not sure if I can get behind that. I'm not sure about that. But I know we say uh, we see Proto with uh, a little bit of a slower lava boost, but no mess up on the ending. Big jump into the star, but not too bad. Probably not the same speed. going for the long jump boost. Yeah. Just from a different position, that's quite a little bit farther away. Not too bad though. Than what Luigi did. Luigi having a little trouble with that wall there. Um, Pierce, he tried to bonk on it for a little RNG manipulation, but was not quite able to. And he still had uh, 21 leaf on, which is pretty, pretty good time for a race again. Like, what do you want to get on a good pace? I would say for Luigi, definitely aims for sub 21s. So just being a minute behind that after all the mistakes he did, especially that yeah. exit course in SSL. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that might be the fastest anyone has ever done Lethal Lava Land with an exit course. That. I, honestly, I don't think anyone has ever exited, of course, but you are correct, sir. I agree. There's no way anyone has ever <laughs> had a faster one. Here we go. Probably. Who knows what offline runs have been done. <laughs> I think at that point you just reset, so I was just thinking maybe in races, you probably don't try to exit cars there. Yeah, if you're fast yeah, enough to be doing Lethal Lava Land that quickly, you're probably fast enough to have to reset the run when you exit. 
<laughs> pretty much. But yeah, uh, ooh, that's a white turn from Proto, but still, grabs the last chest. Oh, Fluffy with the Factoid, that was the fastest LLL so far in Season 2. <laughs> that, um, not too sure about that, but, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna say, I mean, why not? I if a chat mod says it, it must be true. Definitely. Now that were actually, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people that had low 21s. <laughs> like cheese, panke. And now into the mantra while Proto's gonna grab that back sub. Which had a nice front sub. You know, almost missed that. Oh, Fluffy was referring to the segment itself. Oh yeah, that meant, that makes more sense. My bad, Fluffy. <laughs> oh wait, the uh, exit course was in SSL. Okay. I was I was gonna think if that is the fastest pace um, out of LLL, what if like safe and quit becomes like the new meta? Oh no. Yeah, I don't that think it's gonna hilarious. happen. Which <laughs> was nice start going for the uh, older movement. Oh right, I I forgot. Luigi is actually a total boomer when it comes to piracy. Total boomer. This is the total boomer movement, but he makes it happen. Proto Man, on the other hand, Ooh. not getting the zoomer movement. Oh, nice triple jump though. I wonder if that still works for Lava Boost early on. He is zooming through this nice. fire scene, yeah. but Ooh, uh, not gonna hit that lava. I was scared he was gonna cut on other platforms on the. Lava. This is good. Here we go. Dropped early at least. Still st losing some time to reach you had a very, very nice fire scene. Oh, chat not calling it the boomer fire scene versus zoomer fire scene. And then what I do is I don't make early Ellie's at all. And I call it the doomer fire scene. Oh, missing the wall kick. Gonna have to go for a re-go. There we go. Gets the Finally gets the right angle. It's an awkward angle to be sure, uh, in my opinion at least. Yeah, I, I agree 100%. That's... Okay, that's red. Not easy to hit. Meanwhile, Luigi gonna be picking up this key. Of course, uh, 26 fire seat. Certainly indicative of a major mistake, but uh, otherwise a very strong run so far. Proto with the slight swag, jumping to the lava there as Bowser. Destroyed the stage yeah. a little bit. Proto with his favorite pastime here. Oh, I just realized, I, I thought, why why is Proto so close to Ouija? But Proto still has to do the Manta Ray star. True. So, still quite far behind. And also lost time in Piracy too. Wait, how did how did Proto lose so much time though? Wasn't he like a couple seconds behind, or not a couple seconds, but like 15, 20 seconds behind Luigi? Maybe in, just movement? In SSL, right? Yeah, in SSL. And then LLL seemed pretty clean, right? Let me think. Yeah, that wasn't really anything. Guys, movement saves minutes. I'm pretty sure it was still like a whole star behind the pop. Ooh, we did with oh an elevator mistake. Has to, playing games with me. <laughs> has to get up there now, otherwise it would have been very, very bad. But yeah, there wasn't really that much, but Ouija was still um, a whole star ahead out of SSL. And I guess his movement also very clean in the Fire C was super good compared to Protoss. Yeah, just, um, just crazy movement out of here. And as I say that, Ouija gets a little dust. <laughs> crazy movement. Ooh, that Skeeter is not in the best position, but we can make it happen. Yeah, I feel like one of the more... Mm -hmm, go ahead. Just what I was going to mention, that was an interesting double jump from VG. Probably just meant to do a jump dive. I feel like one of the more nuanced skills, uh, especially on that blue coin platform, is if you do get bad Skeeter RNG, being able to deal with having to go out of your way to kill it, and then not losing too much speed uh, turning around and coming back. That seems like a, a huge thing, especially when you're dealing with a blue coin timer, and being able to hit him at like the very far end with like the worst RNG, 
and not lose the blue coins as a result. Yeah, it's really easy to do that. I think it's probably with a jump dive. I don't know, sometimes the skeeter just doesn't behave at all. Oh, and for it sure. also comes down to what kind of decisions you make, I guess. If you see where the skeeter is, you can definitely prepare on how you're gonna kill him without missing the blue coins. For sure. Um, the worst is when the Skeeter looks good and then you hit the blue coin box and he aggroes you as you're running toward the blue coins. Um, because at that point it's like, oh no, he's there, the RNG was okay, and then he pulls all the way to the other side of the platform. And that, that, that gets really uh, awkward. But I'm pretty sure there's virtually nowhere the Skeeter could go that you can legitimately risk losing the blue coins as long as you know it's fairly good. Yeah, I think so as well. Better and worst case scenario, if you don't feel safe, just kill the skater afterward. Or before. Uh, yeah, we've seen it as well. I'm pretty sure some runners decide to do that when they're not sure they can get it in time. But other than that elevator, we're just having a pretty nice drywall, well, so I'm not really gonna give Proto any chance to catch up here. So have to do one more TT wall cake. Let's see if you can hit it. It's been good. And elevator was well, like, falls down, but that's not bad, too bad at all. At least he didn't fall into the water. Wow. Yeah, I, I feel like that's. I'm trying to think. That loses, um, probably about two or three seconds to doing the switch. <laughs> Ouija in chat saying I gotta stop doing swag stuff and Proto Man said no 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 keep keep doing swag stuff please. <laughs> uh, Proto might be manipulating his opponent just a little bit, but yeah, I don't think that Proto is Proto is gonna go for the TG Walker, so he's definitely gonna save save a little bit of time here. Oh, well, Ouija on that top of the town star. Proto Man with some RN Ouija manipulation. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder that might have just only lost like two or three seconds falling down there. Because you're like already up there and don't have to turn around. Because um, as, he, as Luigi was falling down, I think around that time you already sort of hit the switch just then. So probably didn't really lose much at all over what Proto did. Ooh, yeah, just like a tad. Exactly. And Luigi with a speed punch couldn't get the club because of it. And Proto with a ground pound, a lot of lag. Still a nice triple jump, at least. For sure. And Proto Man gonna be heading over here. Good camera and gets no ledge grab. Nice and clean secrets from him. Doing what he needs to to, to stay in contention for this race. Uh, is still in the running. We've got a lot of progressively more dangerous one to go. Uh, TTM is notorious for taking dozens of seconds away from people based on small little mistakes. I mean, the lock wall kicks, right? And if you do walk. try to go for breezes as well, if you fall down, you lose so much. Yeah, and uh, not to mention those scary shrooms have been quite the bop for quite the runners the... here in the Quite the scary. True, true. Um, I feel like those shrooms never stop really being scary. Uh, you get more and more confident with them for sure, and as you update your strats, you, you practice those, and eventually you learn to just kind of let, let your hands and your muscle memory do what they do, but every now and then your hands will kind of muck up a little bit, and uh, any mistake on those shrooms usually leads to a death. Ooh, and this attempt going a little awry. That looked like a really good angle too. That probably would have worked and <laughs> doesn't get the breeze. Has to go in there again. Alright, there we go. Nice quick turn though. He immediately turns around. I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. <laughs> Just falling down, you mean? Like, it, it, like, t it, like catching the breeze, but not getting it all the way to the top of the platform. Oh yeah, that's um, just when you that, go that just back, back again too early. Luigi tried to go, do it yeah. very optimal, and then just fell down. Honestly, I think too early. I think I'd rather just fall too hard and just miss the breeze and die, than not be able to get Mario all the way up. 
You know, like earlier you were saying that you're a slight god, and now this. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you gotta stay consistent, man. Oh, nice log walking from Proto as well. Which you already had a suspicious <clears throat> problem. First one, two. Sorry. We should need a slightly slower mountain clip. So, Party Man saving a little bit of time over Ouija. Um, probably not gonna be going for Breezeless. Although, never say never. Oh no, Ouija! Just slide down! Falling all the way down. Oh my god, I don't think if anyone ever slide down there on the triple jump. And the grid camera, but still makes it happen. Okay, Ouija. You're doing some crazy stuff in TDM. There we go, guess the trouble jump this time. With a little Yikerino here, but um Best thing to do when you're having a bad uh when you're having a bad split, best thing to do is just get through it, survive, and uh get out of there in one piece. And that's uh what both of these runners are experts at doing. Maybe the pro opponent manipulation is only shining. <laughs> just keeps happening. Proto Man's calls for swag have gone answered in Ouija. Beautiful reds. Okay, that was... Honestly, great. I can't commentate that. It's moving too fast for my eyes to watch. That was very good. That gets an okay hand from me. We're gonna see if Proto... He does go for Breezeless. Oh, but that's not doing ah. it. Doesn't grab enough hate, unfortunately. Yeah, for sure. But a lot better of a backup there. Not falling down after catching the breeze. For sure. Uh, if Protoman can have a solid red, he will have saved time over Luigi in this. Uh, without a doubt. A slowly but steady catching up. We're going a little, little bit safer. On. No, going a little bit... Okay. That was still sad though. I was just surprised by that wall kick, but man... Nothing so, a photo needed. So here's the interesting thing about commentating these races. Uh, the, the feed for us is on a bit of a delay, but the chat is not. So about like as around this point where Proto Man was, we saw a message in chat saying, hmm, and I'm like, interesting. Why is Proto Man typing hmm in chat in the middle of uh, scary scary shrooms for red coin? And then he died. Yeah. <laughs> and it's that impending sense of doom that you get when you see one of the runners chatting five seconds into a 25 second star. Pretty much. Yeah, it's, he was so close to Ouija now as well, like, he wasn't that far behind anymore. It just made the gap bigger once more. But I th honestly, I think with the- Oh no, he no. almost got out there with a double jump kick stride. <laughs> <laughs> what is Ouija doing? Alright, finally gets in there. Honestly, I think Proto still saved time in TTM. Uh, Luigi had a couple falls, had that breezeless flub, and a oh, pretty strong thing, yeah. retake on the reds. But that was also really like a massive, massive mistake from Proto, like the death. I mean, oh for sure. Hard to say, but yeah. And Timer just decided to stop. I don't know if he accidentally paused it, but yeah, it was synced up. So we will have to just look at Luigi's timer then. Uh, yeah, hopefully Ouija's timer and Proto Man's timer are on the same time, otherwise we've made a huge mistake. Yeah, maybe Proto's just sort of stopping time and slowly catching up to Ouija. Indeed. And we're gonna be headed here into Hazy Maze Cave, but first we gotta swipe a little bunny. Oh, Proto, I'm not even opting for the... Triple jump walk spread. Just have to get up. There we go. A little bit of an issue. And we're going to see uh, Toad give us a little star there. We're not going to have to chase him down. And this really highlights the difference between, you know, a good caddy and a bad caddy. No, you definitely don't want to have Mips come to your party. You would rather just invite Toad. 
for sure. But I think the most efficient way uh, is to completely eliminate the need for a caddy, which you can do by downloading Golf Clash from onyx.tv slash speedrun. And you'll have your choice of golf clubs to choose from. And because they're electronic, you don't have to worry about carrying them around either. Definitely. And I was just going to mention that pro again. That's such a weird rage pause after yeah. finishing up <laughs> the freezing pawn star. I, I did like that last rage pause, though, because he did it at the same time that he needed to exit stage. Oh, that was pretty smart, I agree. Definitely helped get some anger out, but also go, make his way to HMC. Is Luigi okay? Uh... <laughs> saying, I thought Mips was a cat for a sec, and I was like, wait, can he be a dog? <laughs> What is Luigi typing? <laughs> I oh, whatever, I, I whatever he's typing is typing you all winning this race, so... That's working. Frodo just hits us up with a draws derp. Or a chest derp, sorry. <laughs> it's all going well. Are we just still having a decent HMC? There's not really anything going on. After total box time, I would say, you're... Pretty much through the stage. Ooh, the Tony Hawk from Proto. But. Oh! Just has to get the triple box jump. There we go. I like how, like, every time someone grinds like that, it's always. <laughs> the commentators always mention Tony Hawk. I, li I like that. Yeah, uh, like good, I will good say. Part, good part of our SM64 culture, I would say. I will say that we ooh, bad RNG for Luigi, but dealing perfect. Can't, not even circling around it, just dives to the right and dives to the left. Perfect zigzag, just masterful play from Luigi. Yeah, most people just tend to run around and not dive around. Yeah, sick. I run around and get hit by it anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I will say that that uh, I think it's a little bit factually inaccurate because uh, we. Even call it a Tony Hawk in SL and CCM. Like on wall kicks will work. We call it a Tony Hawk. Strictly speaking, in CCM, it's an SSX trick. Oh, nice interesting. Backflip. <laughs> I was gonna say the almost the exact same. That was an interesting backflip coming up from Luigi as he gets into Tippy. Uh, um, pretty much a death pit if you're not careful. For sure. Too much, the king are wrong. Oh, and starting out with triple triangles, that's interesting. Usually runners tend to go for lucky to bounce first, what they want to get out of the way, but Luigi, more like the three triangles kind of guy. Uh, viewers are commenting jokingly about the Wilco clip, which of course is banned in 70 star, and I just like to correct- Ooh, trolled for Proto Man as well. Pulling the Proto fantastic Man, circle around and getting hit at- I can't believe you just did that. Joke is- Luigi does the glitchy walk like advance. Looking good, just get up. I was gonna do the exact same joke, is that- <laughs> I was gonna say, is that fantastic playing right now? <laughs> You already did it, so... That was a really good lucky bounce from Luigi. It, it was masterful. But yeah, as per our previous conversation, it's no longer called the Wilco Clip, it's now called the Long Jumping Backwards to Gain Infinite Speed so as to clip through the 50-star door. Man, I cannot miss the times where we said Wilco Clip. Yeah, I really miss those times. Luigi! Ooh, first death, just a bonk. That's not too bad, but that's where it starts. Indeed, losing time often starts with a death. Proto Man opting for the regular setup to the Lucky 2 bounce. Gets the bounce. Luigi. Very nice setup from Luigi. Those reds were hot. So, uh, Proto went a little bit safer on that Lucky 2 bounce. Try to go for the light trap instead of the wall kicks. Chad is asking if it's not called the Wilco Clip anymore. It's not. It is in fact called the long jumping backwards so as to gain infinite speed in order to clip through the 50 star door. Trick. 
People still call the workers up dumb bar. Not in my stream chat, they don't. <laughs> it's one of my rules. <laughs> all all trick names have to be titled accurately with a perfect description of what they do. I mean, otherwise no one understands it, right? So I can yeah. see that. Swing and breeze done for Ouija. So, two more. Oh, you, you mean Proto? Wait. Ouija? <laughs> that was a while, a while I, ago. I, I was saying swinging in the breeze is done for Ouija. So he's finished Rainbow Ride and he's headed into okay. TTC. Is he, wait, he's a little bit of trouble. Yeah, my, my bad. Right. Uh, no, I didn't probably like should have. i to make sure, uh, I guess. I like that. <laughs> oh, Ouija! He's having so much trouble getting up here. So many glitch bugs. Honestly, oh. the amount of struggle I have seen on this particular trick, specifically in 100 coin, uh, in the past couple days, has been insane. But he's finally up there. Like, yeah, it's, I don't know. That trouble jump is weird. And you have to do it for moving bus as well. Not free from it just yet. And this was what I was talking about, where uh, you're not actually all that likely to die in TikTok clock, but you can lose so much time just flubbing little tricks over and over. Oh yeah, definitely. Aren't you going nice for advanced move in here? Very, very advanced. Can look easy. Oh, we're needing this triple jump. That ending was sick. <laughs> After that Gorgeous. beginning, that's what we want to see. And yeah, as Proto enters, which is already done. And Proto's not opting for GC100 first. I'm just gonna grab these reds. Yo, those are nice reds. He got the triple jump as well. Yeah, Let's beautiful, go, Proto. beautiful. And indeed, just to confirm, the race is live, the commentary is live, only chat is pre recorded. Unfortunate. Yeah. One, one, one day we'll hit the trifecta. <laughs> almost, almost there. Ooh, that was a struggle with Ouija again. As Proto also having a little bit of struggle getting up there, just falling down. Ooh, Proto. And this is not like. I know, backing this, this up is so weird because yeah. all the blocks are moving, and yeah. Um, this is chased. like, I imagine a cycle, but it's like a two second cycle. So, no. so You don't want to mess up the moving for the jump walking. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, generally, you're probably okay, but the problem is there's like a half a second on that cycle where you do not want to be doing the same movement with the same timing, and you've got to wait around that. But you're not exactly sure when it'll be, so it, it's so difficult to do on the fly, and it can be. It's the one of the few cases where it's very easy to, to die if you find yourself in the wrong situation. Exactly. And ooh, Ouija. So very Ouija nice moving has been all with a triple jump wall kick. Ooh, <laughs> firsty from Proto Man into the cage. Let's go. Let's get some spreads engaged. going. His inner god gamer. Finally unleashing it, you see, maybe a little bit too late, considering he's still quite far behind. I mean, he's like... Whoa, oh, he still hasn't done... Uh, he still hasn't done 100 coin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Still got a lot to do. But I guess that puts him probably about a minute behind. Might be a little bit more, like 100 coins is already around a minute. Yeah, um, I would, I would, so I would say he's pretty much just, well, he's he's got the fastest start to do now, so he's gonna save a little bit more time. And then he's got uh, 100 coin to go, it's about a minute. Uh, if he has a solid end game, he should be like within throwing distance, pun kind of intent. Might be. Well, if, uh, have to see how the to 100 coins. Course. Yeah, and also gotta see how the 100 coins are gonna go. They're not free. Like, easily the hardest star in Tippy, I would say. Absolutely, the most technical star in the game, in my opinion. And but Proto opting for the safety red, which I can't get behind. If the RNG at the end isn't too nice, you always have those two spare Gets coins. Gets the ledge grab skip. Already saving significant time over Luigi. Mm. So good, and would you also? Taking a bong as he's heading into bits already. 
hits a 49, so if he has a nice bit. And I'm just, uh, I'm at the edge of my seat for this 100 coin from Proto Man. I want this to be a nice and close race, to be honest, so really hoping. And Proto Man able to ignore that coin. Ooh, Ouija, though, takes the first death. And that might be where it starts. I don't Indeed, know, maybe. Proto Man needs to nail this triple jump dive. He does get it. But, but oh my god, bro! <laughs> That's the they second just, time I've seen someone do that. They keep just saved him so hard. Wow. But, and the rage part is coming out alright. Nice and safe endgame from Proto, just very beautifully done. Barely got up on one there. Yeah, nice left side from Luigi. And nice ending as well. Luigi playing very safe here, does not want to tempt fate. He knows that his lead <laughs> is only barely uh, considered safe. So he wants as much time on that Bowser as he can get. As he was saying safe, he went for the extremely pro ending and almost, like, you can die that easily. That to, be fair, I think, to be fair, I think that's a little more muscle memory than, say, triple jump ball kick, where a slight blood in your inputs might mess you up. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh like, no! Just one... Chill, 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 Proto. One more throw to go for weekend, that's it. Not um, the best throws, he had a little bit of trouble on the last one, yeah. but... Made it happen. GG. Well, for low 50, that death was unfortunate. I, I think Luigi's gonna, I think Luigi's gonna win this race. Um, I'm not so sure about that one. Oh, there it is. Dang it. Not too sure about that. Proto with a much cleaner triple jump wall kick, so uh, on a on a decent pace to get a, a fair few points here, probably about 22, 23. Oh, playing super safe, might be sacrificing an entire point. I've actually a bit of air resistance. I think he always goes for that. I, I don't think I've seen a race where he didn't go for that ending. But well, we might be getting some interviews. I'm not too sure. As this was live, we can have them. Um, Run us up both here. First throw for Polo. <laughs> Doesn't get the second one, but can grab Rosa and then should be able to get it. Oh Not quite. This is take on incrementalism. One more to go. No trip. One minute. A little bit more than a minute behind. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. Spinning, spinning, right round, baby, right round, and he's gonna nail it for the final throw. And uh, Proto Man's gonna be locking in about 16 points for himself. So not too bad. Oh, 15 points rather. Not too so bad. Still, yeah, definitely still GG to Proto as well. And I'm not so sure if we're gonna have the interviews or not. I too am not too sure about that, but I guess we will be finding out. So we're just gonna see. Looks like we're gonna be grabbing. No matter what the restreamer says, let's get Ouija in here. Yeah, we're <laughs> good. He's ready. All right, a Proto already here, and Ouija as well. Congratulations, Ouija, on the win. And Thanks. GG's Proto. Thanks. So, that, that was an interesting uh, tippy, Ouija. Yeah. <laughs> it's always so crazy for some reason. Just so weird. So, also, so many deaths. And you could have still 49 even after that Rainbow Ride death, too. And then yeah. uh, TDC 100. Yeah, that 100 climb mistake in TDC was really weird. I, like, the problem is once you miss it once, you start, like, rushing it to try to, like, back it up quickly. And then you just start losing it. <laughs> it's always just such an awkward thing. But it worked out. <laughs> oh, well. Now, let's talk about SSL. <laughs> input by input, walk us through what happened there. Well, 
first off, I wanted to just, you know, do the classic Rage Mario can. So I was mad that I missed Total List the first time. Um, but then that Ash ended up mess mess messing up the double jump, so I Rage, rage paused. <laughs> and then I was holding down to go towards the pillar at the same time that I was trying to get out of the pause menu. So as it went down towards exit area, I just hit start and I was out of the stage. So that was that was cool. Interesting mistake. I don't think I don't know if we will ever see that again actually. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um anything you wanna point out, Proto? I know you had a I would say a rocky run as well. <laughs> Very. I just wanted <laughs> to do like one cool star like one star well like ttm reds i was like all right this is it. he's watching i'm gonna pull out a 24x cam i get like a 57x cam it's like the worst star i've ever done in my life whatever but for the record people who do ttt 70 because ttc 69 the movement is too hard i had the worst movement the entire run and i still nailed the movement after toad or whatever that people say it's, oh. it's like tricky so you got. All, you all have to switch to TTC sixty nine because it's not hard. Do it. Hell yeah! You heard you it here first, folks. Significant. You saved significant time on Toad uh, over Ouija there, so congratulations. Yeah, I messed up pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that really matters right now. <laughs> totally. uh, Definitely. Good and game. also, like, you got a very decent TTM Reds on the re-entry, if that makes you feel better. No, no, I didn't. I screwed that up also. <laughs> I think, no, I, I, I definitely got, like, uh, over 35 seconds. Oh, okay. I screwed it up twice. I, th I You must be confusing with, like, Ouija must have had a sick res or something. Oh, Ouija had a, a, an insane res. That was actually one of the strongest stars, I think. Yeah, that was but, yeah. beautiful. Anyway, uh, thanks to both of you. Uh, I think uh, D Whatever has dinner plans that he's got to make uh, real quick. So uh, we're probably going to hop over to the next race. It is going to be, uh, I believe, uh, Dowski, right? No, it's actually me versus Benji. <laughs> oh, Benji, <laughs> Benji, somebody. right. Benji versus uh, some other speedrunner. And oh, yeah. uh, uh, coming back at you with uh, myself and Badronis will be joining me in the booth. So definitely stay tuned. Congratulations to both runners. GG's. And See you guys. GG's. Good and, comps, uh, guys.